Hello Aries, my friends. Thank you for clicking on my channel. Welcome to the journey home. My name is Catherine. We're going to have a look at what are we going to ask for today, Aries? I haven't even decided. Is it uh, what they currently think of you? Tell you what, we'll pull a few cards for you. Then we'll pull a few cards for a significant other or the one that is on your mind. Message for Aries, please. Message for Aries. We're ready. Let's have a look. Look at that. You're right at the top. At the head of the reading. The zero point field. Zero is the most powerful number in numerology. Scientific fact. Leap of faith. Landing on your feet. Hitting the ground running. And not losing your balance. The communications that you're going to be having here. Or that you are having perhaps already. Are going to be communications of playfulness or perhaps somebody is trying to trigger you and they just can't you just come back uh, with wit and charm perhaps this person bores you are you trying to trigger me again oh, it's okay and you just throw a joke at them put a banana peel under them when they're walking You may be discontent with this person, but you are very strongly aware of your capabilities. You're nurturing. If you hear noises in the background, those are the kittens. They decided to get playful. Nurturing abilities. With the Queen of Pentacles and then followed by the Empress. Now, this is interesting. Because not only are you birthing something new, um... Some of you could actually be having a baby here. Very nurturing energy. Perhaps you are giving birth to a new project, new career, a new relationship. But here we are at the heart of your reading with this discontent. It could be that you're like, okay, for some of you, I'm getting this. If someone is flirting with you, you might let them entertain you for a bit, but you're not going to. You want them to step up. Meet your standards. You want to burst something new. It's slow. This person is slow. <laughs> Aries, look at this person. They are so slow. That, that deer in the background thinks it's a statue. Is that real? Is that someone moving? What is that? Oh, it's just a statue. Slow. This is what's... Could be that you're saying, you know, let's just cut to the chase and say what you mean. I don't get this as bad energy. Like I said, it's more like playful. Could be that you're coming out with your blunt self and saying, spit it out. What is it you're trying to say? The message is joyful. Not only do you cross that finish line and birth something new, it's going to be worthy of celebration. Now this card wanted to come out too, so I'm going to bring it out. We've got the high priest. Contracts, spiritual and physical. I mean, for some of you, it could be a contract that you're signing, like getting a new car or something. For others of you, this is about the spiritual contracts. Could be you're finishing out this cycle. Finally finish that contract, moving into something new. Or this is about signing a contract, signing up for something that you're giving birth to. So we're going to put him at the bottom of the deck for an overall energy though there is the king of pentacles this is about stability being anchored balanced probably focusing on your money let's clarify these cards oh and look 
this fell out too. Might as well show it to you. Reciprocity. This could be a nice flow of money for you as well. I'm not even going to clarify these. I'm just going to go to the person. Who is this other person? What are they? Let's get, dig into their heads and where they're at. Let's see if we can find some secrets. The person that is on Aries mind. This could be about family, money, health, love. Can we focus on these energies and see what they have to say to you? You're seen as a wish fulfillment. If you're asking about a person, they see you as wish fulfillment. They want to be loyal, passionate. Oh, look at the color here. Look at the fire. I mean, I know this is Cups energy, but just look at that passion. Leo energy. Um, I never noticed that feral at the at his foot before. This is about being clever. Is this something to do with? Um, sorry, there it is. See if I can focus in on that. Is this about um that communication that is being somewhat playful? I mean, he's sitting rather suggestively, isn't he? Bottom of the deck, we have Aquarian energy. Portals opening on hopes, dreams, wishes. Look at this. Ten of Pentacles. This person sees it all with you. Oh my gosh. Ten of Cups. You embody everything for this person. Have you even met them yet? If you have, and you're wondering, what is this person thinking? They want to work with you. They recognize who you are. Collaboration. And look at this, the green man. Something you did selflessly. You're coming into some blessings here. You're coming into some big blessings, Aries. My goodness. Let's ask... Doreen for a message and advice in love for Aries message and advice for Aries please let's try that again Message and advice for Aries, please. Speak to me. Oh, okay. Oh, lots to say. Oh. All right, for some of you, there's reconciliation. For others of you, this is new love. Or perhaps for even for the ones who are reconciling. This is about birthing, rebirthing, rebirthing, making it new, fresh. Now this makes it clearer to me with that bantering and that discontent. You know, let's cut to the chase and let's just say what you mean to say. Make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps that you're being guided to take here. Give your relationship a chance and work on your partnership. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings, but this can also be rebirth of a current relationship. We've got reconciliation. Free yourself. It's time to take back control of your life. Say what you mean. This is also about clearing your energies. Time to disconnect from the world. This feels to me, Aries, like you need a heart-to-heart -heart talk with somebody. Some alone time. Or maybe some alone time from this person is helping you to sort things out in your own mind. But this person does want to work with you. 
Someone really has huge desire for you. I hope that helped. God bless you. I hope to talk to you again. Bye-bye for now. Oh, oh, forgot my usual spiel. I go live every Wednesday and Sunday night, 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. You know, the usual drill. If you would like some free cards pulled for you, join me in the house on those nights on YouTube. God bless. Bye-bye for now. Thank you.